Welcome back to MJPL. Um, I don't feel like we need to explain what MJPL is anymore, bro. <laughs> I feel like by the time we drop this, MJPL will have its own channel. That it's, it, in it's the name. clear. Yeah, yeah, it's clear. This <laughs> is just for sports. Um, how are you feeling today, man? Bro, it's it's a good day, I won't lie. Mm. The weather is nice. It is. Mm. It is I'm color coded. Everything is blue. It's a beautiful I, day. I, I, I want this to represent Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> in a way. Yeah, listen. Yeah. But, uh, I can't explain mine. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't explain mine. Maybe I'm representing Chelsea as well. <laughs> we are both representing Chelsea today because we don't have jersey sponsors. So feel free. On God, but bro, I think I, I think we're getting close. Mm-hmm. A jersey one. Mm. Oh, is a guy who I'm this close to buying a jersey from him. Like, if we had started recording now, I was about telling you, just send me. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's the only guy who has exactly what I want, man. Which one? I'll show him to you off mm. that. Yeah. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know the team called Venezia or something? Yes, I yeah, want that jersey. I want that. I want that jersey from like so the past bad. four years. Me too, bro. But anyway, we keep it pushing. I want that jersey so badly, bro. Whoever has a Venezia jersey, mm. all you get it. This, is your, this is your pod. Four years. This is your pod. Yeah. If you have it. Um, bro, there's a lot to talk about today. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Magic. What do you do? What do you do, bro? So, <laughs> Magic, the voice of the people. Quiz master. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're starting with the MJP quiz. I think we're going to make this a regular segment mm. on the show. Um, partly because I haven't won yet. So I need to give myself <laughs> more chances to win. But secondly, it's just fun, bro. So yeah. let's bro, go. I want to start revising. Bruh. Hey. This one I think is going to be a bit easier than the mm. last one. I don't know, bro. I've only been watching my team. <laughs> yeah. In a way. In okay. a way. In a okay, way. let's see. Let's okay. see. Let's see. Mm. Uh, Magic, do you want to announce the type of quiz that we're doing today? The parameters? Yes, yes. So it's a 10 question quiz. Same rules as last time. I'll pass the question to one of you. If you get it correct, one point. If you don't, you pass the question. And then that person gets half a point. But okay. I guess for the sake of peace, let's just say one point. It takes one you one point. point. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. We might get like two and a half. I know. No, I know. So <laughs> again, like <laughs> last time, count. rock, paper, scissors, for who goes first? Okay. Mm. On shoot. On shoot. Eh? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Ah, I'm starting, I'm starting. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, who scored the first goal of the 2023-2024? Oh, who's by this the way, for? I need to. Oh, you want to nah, go nah, first? You go first. first. Give you me some go. context. <laughs> uh-huh. This quiz is about the first four uh, match weeks of the current 2023-2024 season. Mm. So, who scored the first goal of the 2023-2024 Premier League season? Mm-hmm. Was it Lyle Foster, mm-hmm. Erling Haaland, Vincent Company, Rodri? Does Rodri have one name? Mm. Is it called short for Rodrigo something something of this season? This we're talking yeah, about this season. This season. Yeah. Where does the guy put Vincent Company? I'm today. <laughs> okay, the the first option was what? Foster, Lyle Foster, uh, Rodri, Haaland, or Haaland, or Haaland. The first game was definitely City, if I remember. Was it? Damn. Okay, I'm going to go. Foster. I feel like I failed this question. I feel like you failed it. Yeah, I feel like I failed this question. <laughs> I think it's one of those quizzes where you answer, then you find out your at your the marks end. At the end. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why don't you? I didn't show you the answer. Answer there. everything. You tell us. <laughs> <laughs> I answer everything. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh yeah, yeah. You answer everything, and then we'll okay, know. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. One sec, one sec. Not for sir. Uh, it's Rodri. It's no, Haaland. No, eh? no, for both of you. It's Haaland. It's Haaland. It's Haaland yeah. Crazy. Wild. Crazy. Okay. Zero. Uh, <laughs> my turn. <laughs> my turn. Okay. Let me see. Rodri scored two goals in that game. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was thinking. It's Rodri first. My but team. also, City has been conceding fast a lot. Really? Which is why I thought. But yeah. now that I, I can remember the commentary in my head now. Like, he has started from where he stopped off. Yeah. Type, type was <laughs> City the first game, though? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah I w- think so. As- Arsenal Forest was... Anyway, never mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who scored? <laughs> <laughs> Who scored Luton Towns' first ever Premier League goal? <laughs> That's too easy because he was on my team. <laughs> <laughs> Morris. Man yeah. like Maury. Carlton. Yeah. That's me, Morris. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even I knew that one because yeah. of this guy. <laughs> okay. Uh, Which team were top of the table at the end of match week one? 
Was it Brighton, City, Castle or Sheffield? Brighton. I feel like they scored four goals in that first game. Yeah, I also feel like they scored four yeah. goals, bro. Was it Brighton? Damn. No, no. What are the choices? Brighton, City, Castle, Sheffield. Cass. Never mm. Brighton, City, obviously not Sheffield. City scored three been. goals. If it's not Brighton, Newcastle's first game week is what I need to. Because I feel like it's either Newcastle or City. Let me go Newcastle. Newcastle. Correct. Nice. Correct, la. Yes. Um, which fixture? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> which fixture was not well played in match week two, following a postponement? Mm. Which fixture was not played in match week two, following a postponement? These guys' questions are all easy, man. Aston Villa, Everton, Fulham, Brentford, Luton, Burnley, West Ham, Chelsea. Luton, Burnley. I, w- I wish I'd gone first. <laughs> <laughs> you see everything I ask about Luton. Because <laughs> Morris is on my team. I have it here. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Okay. How many players did Nottingham Forest sign on transfer deadline day? Why? How I many players did DSC. Nottingham Forest sign on transfer deadline day? Z- yes, zero. The options are zero, three, five, and seven. Three. <laughs> seven. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's seven. <laughs> it's seven. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> seven players. Why? <laughs> Those guys have signed so many players, bro. <laughs> seven players. Uh, uh, that's, that's four like, strats, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> okay, um, question seven. six. Which of these players did not I'm score? I'm recording a Today I'm going. But I have a mad zero. <laughs> <in the abs. laughs> Which of these players did not score a hat trick in match week four? Evan Ferguson, Aling Haaland, Mohamed Salah, and Son Hyung Min. Match week four. Yes. Damn. Who, which, who, who did not score a hat trick? We're going for match week seven now. Mm. That was match week four, bro. Wait, wait, is it that you? That's me. Eh? I feel like it's him. Mm. It's actually you. Mm. Mm. Salah, he hasn't scored that trick yet. Fagas, Salah, and others are. He has all the answers. Call yeah. him Sway. Bro, that, that, I'm hating that I know the answers <laughs> actually, to your question. Yeah. You ain't got the answers. <laughs> Call him Sway. <laughs> Where were we? Um, Sheffield yeah. United are the only promoted from 2022 to 2023 to achieve a point this season. Mm. Who did they wow. draw against? Who did they what? Draw Who against. Who did they draw against? Mm-hmm. Wow. Crystal Palace, Everton, City or Nottingham Forest? Definitely Ooh. not City. That's a tough question. That's Crystal Palace, Forest and? Everton. Everton. Everton, Everton didn't Everton. have a point <laughs> till last game week, so... But they did. They did. Everton, City, Forest and Palace. Palace. Did you say Spanners? <laughs> Palace. <laughs> 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 like Spanners? <laughs> I'm wrong. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Palace. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> yeah, so at least Crystal Palace and Everton. <laughs> <laughs> no, Forest and Everton. Oh, oh. This Palace... Everton, City, and Forest. Those are the four options. So Everton and Forest. Forest against Stoke. Against who? Sheffield. Sheffield. Stoke? Against Sheffield. <laughs> <laughs> against Sheffield. I'm just going to say Everton. I feel like it's Everton. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> 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 this was how this guy cooked me last week. Ederson. <laughs> 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 uh, this is for you, eh? No, it's for me. It's for you. Yeah. Have you answered any questions? <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know how to feel, bro. Because, like, <laughs> the thing is, I know the answers to all his questions. Yeah. <laughs> the, the rock, paper, scissors set me up. Mm. Right? Because you, you want it. <laughs> <laughs> you want the rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Uh, Ederson is one of two goalkeepers to keep two league clean sheets. 
Who is the other? Ederson is one of two goalkeepers to keep two league clean sheets. Alison Becker. I want to say Bernard Leno. Andre Onana. Guglielmo Vicario. Guglielmo Vicario. Guglielmo Vicario. It's an interesting name. Funny enough, like the the answer is very like it's the last guy you think, but it's Onana. I would think so, yeah. Yeah. I would think so. It's Onana. Clean sheet Wrong. Is it's not, not eh? Really? Okay, who are the other options? <laughs> I think you're going to ask me who is it. Alison Baker. Okay, this guy is called B R N D. Is that Burned or Bernard? Burned Leno. Burned Leno. Burned Leno. Andre Onana. Guglielmo Vicario. I like See, reading Leno, his name. Did Leno keep but it has been six game weeks. It's been six game weeks. I'm planning that it's a not tough question. Oh, this is the first four weeks of the mm. season. So Nana hadn't even kept his second clean sheet yet. Mm. Okay. Let me say, mm, like Damn. I know. <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that, that makes the first four matches. First four matches. Um, Vicario is for what team? I have no idea, bro. I've never Guglielmo. Been. I'm more in Leno. <laughs> <laughs> no, Leno is full ham. Eh? Cause let me see the first four game weeks: Liverpool considered against Chelsea, uh, Spurs, Spurs. The game where they came from behind was that Spurs? I don't know. No, no, no. Thingy. Came from behind is crazy, bro. What is it called? Yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's like a proper <laughs> footballing term, bro. That's the biggest issue, bro. <laughs> We're going to say it a million times on this show. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going Leno. Leno? Yeah. No chance. I think it's like Vicario, bro. What are you guys like? It's Becker. Guglielmo. It's Vicario. But which team is that? What Guglielmo. team is he in? I think he's in Spurs or something. I don't know, but... Hmm. Okay. I don't know the Spurs keeper. He has like. a nice name. Um... How many zero zero draws have there been in the Premier League this season? Or or draws? Now in my mind I have to like tune match it week to four, yeah, the yeah. last four match weeks. How many nil nil draws? Mm. What are the options? Zero, one, two, thirty nine. Thirty nine. Thirty nine is so annoying. Bro. One, two, and zero. One, two, zero. Thirty nine. And thirty nine. Nil nil. Did you guys have a have a nil nil Chelsea? You had mm. a nil nil, but I feel like that was like game week five. Yeah, that's the thing. We've yeah. had like two nil nils. Yeah, so I want I want to say at that point where that quiz is, I'm gonna say one. You guys just Wrong. chewing, bro. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Wrong. Okay. I'm gonna say two. Wrong. Oh, what are they? Yeah, zero. Zero. Oh, crazy. There are no draws. Okay, I guess I'll draw in the season. Okay. You guys are cooking yourself. I know I have like zero. Guys are going to cook <laughs> me. Let's go on. Guys hosting a football pod. It's <laughs> 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 a guy hosting. Look at your host, bro. But we're the same, bro. We all, we all don't know these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this this Guglielmo guy is spars, bro. Spars, eh? Mm. Mm. Carry it. Okay, which of these players has not missed a penalty in 2023-2024? Enzo Fernandez, Erling Haaland, Brian Mbeumo, 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 Brian Mbeumo, Mohamed Sal. In 2020, 2021? The, the last four weeks. 2020. 2023-2024 oh, season. This, this season. Enzo missed. This is my trick for Enzo. Definitely missed. Um, Buemo. Buemo. What do you know if he takes penalties? Does he? I mean, Ivan Tony is away, so he's not taking the penalties. I just don't know if he has missed. Or if they've had any penalties. They have. Yeah. They have. I just, I remember the penalty. I don't know if they scored. <laughs> it. Yeah. Ah, man. And I think the penalty was against a big team. Mm. Uh huh. What are the options? Uh, Enzo, Fernandez, mm-hmm. Erling Haaland. Brian Mbe- Mbeumo and Mohamed Salah. Salah missed, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, 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 bruh. To my job is just making you know, question names. So I said question 10 of 10. I'm going to say, <laughs> last chance. oh man. So it's what? That's the 10th question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bruh, I'm, like I've already released this thing. I'm probably going to end up with a zero. Either Haaland or Mbeumo. Haaland, not missed. Yes, has not missed a penalty. A penalty. 
That means Damn. three of them have either missed or not taken. Yeah, that, that's the, that's the <laughs> thing. Mbwemo. Yeah. Yeah. Mbwemo. Has not missed. Mm. Hey, there there you go. Go. There <laughs> <you go. laughs> At least you left in one, bro. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. <laughs> okay, what's the score? Good jobs. Five, like six, one, bro. Mother, what's the score? Hey, got yo. It. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> I got <laughs> one point. <laughs> no, there's no way. I only have one, bro. You passed one. Then I on you passed. Zero. What? <laughs> Really, yeah, that's yeah. a madness, bro. It's a better luck next week. Goal difference last week. I think it was a good five zero goal difference. They tried. No, uh, yeah, I got my lick back. Now we can stop. No more quizzes. That's the last quiz. Nah, I also have to win one. But uh, anyway, okay, nice man. So should we get into the last game week? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fire, fire, fire. So. Let's see. Last game week, game week six. Um, let me just find the Very fixtures. interesting game. We had a big game. Um, what was the big game again? Uh, just give me one sec. Results. Okay, I feel like the the game of the week is between Arsenal, Spurs, and Sheffield Newcastle. Maybe we should address them both. Hey yo, we need to start with Sheffield Newcastle. Sheffield Newcastle, because yeah, Sheffield Newcastle hey. was a violation. Name every season or something like yeah, that. Bro. Every season there's one game where an, a team just gets destroyed, you guy. And that's what happened with Sheffield Newcastle. Sheffield at home thrashed, bro. 0-8. <laughs> yeah. It's not 8-0, bro. It's 0-8. Zero 0-8. Zero As in these guys came to your house and whipped you. And this is the thing. Eight yeah. goals, bro. I wasn't even awake for that match, bro. Me neither. I just woke up and saw the result. I was like, what? I see this game was the last game mm. on Sunday night. Yeah. So me I knew how many points I had for the game week. And I the like next pop. day I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> I had like 15 20 extra points. I was like, yeah. bro, what the hell is this, man? <laughs> on both my draft and on my ordinary fantasy, bro. bro. I won't lie. And like, you know when I clicked on the result mm. and I saw the people who scored, I was like, bro, bro what scored. happened to Sheffield? And for me, that's my thing. Why didn't I think of that? One guy just went crazy. Mm. Nah, each individual <laughs> player on the eight players scored, scored in this game, bro. bro. Which is so insane. Longstaff, Ban, Botman, Wilson, Gordon, Almiron, Guimaraes, and Ishak. This eight guys issue, scored. Though. Like, I get it. Newcastle is hard. It's just Sheffield is newly promoted. Yeah? Hold on, give me one sec. Magic. Then this mic still. Then it's still catching audio. So when, will that mess with that thing? Let's make three. Okay. Okay, hard. And then there's still yeah. One, two, one, two. Sorry. Kale. What do you say? Just turn down four also. Okay. Mm-hmm. The thing is, I know Newcastle is such a good team. It really is. Mm. But 8 nil is still crazy to me, bro. Now, 8 nil is so important, you guys, because Newcastle have been... I think at the beginning of the season, everyone was saying they were like contenders for the title. But like Top over four. the weeks, they've kind of been, mm. they haven't been at the level that guys know they can reach, man. So mm. I th- that 8 nil was like a statement of intent. Like, bruh, bro, we're they still did, these They did guys. it well. They did yeah. it well. They did it how they were playing last season. Yeah. And as they, a unit. And they, it was after, um, that was after the international break, right? Yes, that was yeah. the first game after international yeah, break. Bro, I don't know what they did during those two weeks. Was it? I feel when like it was, was match week five. I feel like match week five might have been the first game mm-hmm. after international break. Yeah, could be, could be. Yeah, match week five was the first game after international mm. break. Uh, what, what 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 was their score in that game? Um, they beat Brentford one nil mm. at home. Bro. Makes sense. The, the eight nil is still crazy to me. Eight nil is crazy. Zero eight. Zero eight actually. is crazy, bro. Eh. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to Sheffield. But Another thing about that game that made me so happy was Almiron, bro. Mm. I was about to bounce him <laughs> off my fantasy. Five weeks. But I had just bounced Isaac. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's a guy you can't bounce. But no, Almiron, he wasn't getting five many weeks points, of blanking, bro. bro. Mm. The second half of last season, he wasn't the guy that he was in the first yeah, half. True, 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 true. So I was like, okay, maybe this guy was just like a spark in the, in the, in the what they call it, a spark in the pan. Mm. But this is the yeah. thing. Isaac had also got me 10 points in total, bro. Two, 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 plus like a one, so nine. 
I had to bounce the guy, bro. And then he comes and scores. And scores, always scored. Anyway, crazy. More power to them. Uh, yeah, shout out Newcastle. Did anyone have a high number of assists? Because that must have been have a like difference. Two? Let me see. Oh, assists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, Trippier had three assists. One, three? two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Three Trippier assists. Gamer has got a goal and an assist. Gordon got a goal and an assist. Bro, I want to like Gordon has been cooking. Oh, he's bo- oh, he's balling. He's been bro. cooking. He's balling. And Gordon always confuses me with that Chelsea guy. What's the name of your Chelsea guy who was been playing CDM? Who was playing CDM before your CDM came? Which guy? Gallagher. Gallagher. Mm. Yeah, 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 those two guys confuse me. Why? I don't know. I think it's that G. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I think that's so. Anyway, let's move on, man. Second game of the week Arsenal and Spurs. North London Good Derby. Game, bro. I didn't hear what guys predicted for this game. I don't think anyone predicted a 2 2 draw. Did anyone predict Clive did. Did 2 2. Yeah, 2 2. That makes sense. That makes what? sense. On the MJPL group, no one predicted I think two he predicted 3 2. You guys were predicting just like that. 3 2, what, what, what. But um, yeah, I don't know. Who do you think? I know it was a 2 2 draw, but who do you think won? Like who? But I'm going to say Spurs, bro. Yeah. This is, this is why. In as much as it's a derby, um, I think it was one of those things where Spurs had a response for everything Arsenal threw at them. Because mm. I remember Arsenal scored first, Spurs equalized, Arsenal got the, I think the pen, it was a pen. And then Spurs co- scored like two minutes it's later, quick. bro. Mm. It was so quick. Mm. And you know how all of us were saying, in as much as Ange likes attacking football, he's going to come out and defend, you know, because it's Arsenal. That guy went at them, bro. Mm-hmm. So I, I'd say Spurs impressed me way more. I say no guys don't hate. There's no as no guy here, but I can make some excuses for them, man. I don't think it was full strength Arsenal. Mm. Um, I can see that Vieira started. Nah, but Vieira was cooking before. Probably that's why he started. Uh, yeah, but this is a North London derby. Like okay, you can't fair, put a guy on because he cooked fair. in one game. But yeah. I know that they, they had injuries, right? This guy was injured. Um, Party was injured. Yeah, so and now play. Rice and Saka are injured. Now it seems like Rice and Saka yeah. are injured. So this week is also going to be difficult for them, man. They're going to feel what we've been feeling. Yeah. <laughs> but be I saw them making a fuss about us and having five injuries. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh have you bra- met United look at and us. Chelsea? Look at <laughs> us, bro. Like, you know what, Kyle, what's his name? Uh, Ant-Man, look at us. Yeah. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> look at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Well, we uh, both have 11 players out. Well, nine mm-hmm. now. Whereas, mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. yeah. No, I think um, I think it was a decent game from both teams. I think that they both did okay. Obviously, I think us. I mean, Spurs got off with a better result. Mm, they definitely. were at the Emirates. They rarely get points at the Emirates, at least not in the past few seasons. Yeah, they but they stood up to us, no man. But like it was very. They took the game to us. It's not exactly. like they sat back and counted. Exactly. It was very evenly matched. Yeah, I think that Romero. I don't think Romero had a bad game, bro. He just had bad luck in that game. I mm. think he caused mm. the first mm. goal and the second goal was an own goal, right? Yeah. Was it the first one? No, the first, the, the first, the first. goal was an own goal. Yeah. And the second, I feel like he played a part in that. Mm. It was his handball or something. Mm. Something along those lines. It's just one of those things where, I mean, you can have a bad game. But all around, Spurs did so well, bro. Madison was cooking. <sighs> Madison has been cooking. Oh. But now he's, he's also as, as if injured. He's a doubt. It? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Uh, thoughts on Son? I like Son in that position, man. Mm. He's, it, it, he's like. Do you remember the city that had Aguero, where you don't have like an out and out striker? Mm. I think that's what he's re- he's replicating with Son in that nine position. It's like a nine point five, mm. like a nine who can play like a ten and a winger. So I think it's one of those. I like him in that position. I think while Hurricane was there, like everyone knew that Son was one of the best players in the league, mm. but no one ever questioned if he. No one ever thought he was the best player in Spurs while Harry Kane was there. True. So for me, I just appreciate the fact that Kane has left and the guy has actually stepped up and is like, bro, I'm exactly. the man here. I think it's also like the, like the Brentford situation, like Tony Mbuemo. We okay. all knew Tony was a bad guy. Okay. It's just because he was better than Mbuemo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, but I me, think I, it's the same the situation. Brentford thing, I'm a bit more partial to Wissa, bro. I don't know. I kind of like Wissa more than Mbuemo. Mm, but I, I know stats-wise, Mbuemo might fair. be that guy. But yeah, man, Son is doing well in that position. I'm sure he's going to keep playing there. Mm-hmm. Richard Wilson has to take a step back. Mm-hmm. And then we'll see, we'll see what happens. We'll see okay. what happens. Yeah. You want to talk about Chelsea? Man, I really do. I actually do. You have I to. actually do. You have to. You have no so choice. We lost the game. 1-0. Uh, 
um, at home. Yeah, we had a red card. Mm. I mean, it was it was it was a tough game to watch because I feel like it's a cycle of Chelsea right now. I mean, aside the win against Brighton in midweek, uh, we haven't done well. We have mm. five points yeah. in in the Premier League with five goals, three against Luton. But I also feel like outside of the injuries, we have also had to shift a lot around, bro. A lot. Like, we've used four different formations in five games or six games. Mm. So it's one of those things. I'm not too pressed about it. I know the team will come good. It's just, I think, first of all, the scoring. We we get so many chances. I saw a stat... Um, that in terms of XG, which I know many people don't care about, but literally it's the clearest goal scoring chances. It's City, Chelsea, Arsenal. Like we are that good we're in terms of we are creating but big nothing's chances. Going in. Nothing is going in, bro. Which is crazy because you guys were hyping Jackson. I really like Jackson. Okay. I love the way he plays. Um okay. it's it's just one of those things where I feel like he also needs to I will say this the way we've been playing ever since Nkunku got injured, we have not had a ten. Because it, when it has in Kunku, bro. Pre-season at thing. least. Ah. <laughs> We've not had a proper 10 in like four years, bro. Nkunku is not even part of this chart, bro. But I, okay. No, it is. I hear you. It is. I hear you. It is. Whether I like it or not. Not yet, bro. Like, he's not Premier League proven, bro. He has this not stepped is, this is on the thing. Premier League This is the pitch. thing. I'm going off what I saw in pre-season. When we had a solid formation, solid 11. And he got like... Three goals, three assists in three matches, something like that. Yeah, but pre-season on that matter. Bro. Yeah, but like also, I'm saying that the, was the, like there was the Premier League series where we played Fulham, we played Brighton, and all these teams were bringing their strongest teams yeah. forward. Yeah, and he played really well. In our first game against Liverpool, we also had a clear system that worked, and we played really well. The two-two. I can't lie, Sancho played well in pre-season. Sancho. Yeah. No, first so just know that. We'll address Sancho. Know later. that I know peace, bro. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's yeah. it's one of those things where I feel like we also need to nail down a proper system of play. Because for example, all the times we've played our games in the league, it has been okay, Caicedo was injured for a bit, but Caicedo, Galaga, Enzo. Where is the creativity coming from? Cole Palmer starts the Brighton game. And had he was bowling. He was bowling, bro. Well, that assist was sweet. It was, and even sweet. the cancelled goal. Yeah, it was so sweet. Yeah. And I feel like that's what we are lacking: the creativity but around you have him. You Jackson. Have him and his feet. Yeah, you have him and his feet. Yeah, let's let's yeah. see what happens. But but I feel like Pochettino is going to like start Galaga and again. Nothing bro. plays me because his feet scored in a Community Shield. Mm-hmm. Like it's not like he wasn't playing at exactly. City where he has come from. Exactly, he's tested against other Premier League teams. Play the guy and we see it, what he can it's do. It's frustrating, man. bro. It, it, same, yeah. same. Like I'm saying the same thing. I, I feel like it's just one of those things, and this is going to be such an unpopular opinion. But starting Gallagher, Enzo, and Sterling takes away that creativity. I would rather not have Sterling in that team. That's crazy. It's Sterling who you're taking out. I would rather not have him in that team. And have Palmer. Madsen. Madsen. He's very so good you technically. you Madsen against Brighton to Sterling, the way Sterling has been playing? No, it's because of the cohesion of the team, not the output. Mm-hmm. The attack is more cohesive with a bunch of other players. Sterling is going to give you the output fine, but at what cost, bro? You feel like he takes away more than he gives Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. He's going to, he has yeah. given us two goals so far. Two. Yeah, fair, yeah. fair. It's just one of those things where I feel like the cohesion of the team looked so much better with these other guys. Jackson was more involved in the game. Mm. Other times, he's so isolated up front. Mm. But, I mean, let's see what happens. We'll, we, I will know when we see on thoughts Monday on night. Uh, thoughts on Amalo Gusto. Uh, the red, red card. Uh, straight red. Was it I, a don't straight sound, red? I don't sound biased, bro, but I feel like it was very unfortunate. Like, it, it, it was a 50-50. It happens. Mm. Not too pressed about it. But, he, I mean, he was already falling. Like, he was off balance. It happens. Nothing yeah. you can say. Who's going in for him? Who's going to sit in for him? I mean, in midweek, Kukurela played right back. So probably. I feel like Chelsea's problem will never be squad depth, bro. Mm, never. Like that's, that's the least of your worries. We have bro. guys. It's like you said, it's cohesion that's missing. It's the, co- it's the cohesion. And that, that's my opinion. People can feel free to disagree. I just think... I won't lie. My, in this game, I wasn't... I don't hate Chelsea. Mm. So I, I wasn't necessarily glad to see them losing. Mm. But... Oli Watkins goal, bro. I had just brought Oli Watkins <laughs> in. Like, I bounced Morris and brought in Oli Watkins. And this is what's crazy to me. I promise you, nine out of ten times, mm-hmm. 
that goal doesn't go in. No. Bro. It does not Crazy go. angle. Yeah. <laughs> How is it going in, bro? What are you doing to you? I was so confused. Yeah. Like, I was just like, you know, this is our luck. But also, Oli Watkins is just one of those guys now, man. Mm. Where well, almost anything he touches is going to go and in. And he already scores yeah. against I can't believe he didn't go to a big four team, bro. He's there, and there are guys who needed him. <laughs> Chelsea. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> the guys he scored against. Him. Yeah, him and Tony. Him and Tony not going to big four teams is a bit weird. Tony's in the old Premier moving, League. Bro. In the old Premier League, guys like Fuckers, can I let a guy like that be in a smaller yeah, team? But bro. Tony's yeah, moving. Well. Trust. Sure. Moving. We'll see. I know Arsenal and Chelsea are in for him, so we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, United. Mm. United Burnley, bro. Now, you needed that win, bro. We needed that win you badly. You needed that win. Um, I think it's like we spoke about before. United, in my opinion, unlike most people, I don't think United has been terrible this season. I think that we've been unfortunate. I think that the boys have been a bit low on confidence. That's what I feel like you just have a lot I going think, on. Bro. Yes, for sure. But also, United is one of those teams that really, like, requires momentum. So, like, after we get one win, we're able to get the ball rolling mm. on the wins. I mean, midweek you did well. Yeah, I Palace. thought so. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Um, so, I think that that Burnley win was crucial. I think the fashion in which we won was respectable. Burnley is not a bad team by any standards, especially under um, company. company. I feel they're like they're just very not differently. scoring enough, bro. They actually bust us at, during certain periods of that game. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I don't think they, I don't think we had more possession than them. I think they possessed the ball, but United, like Bruno, is a leader, man. Mm. So, like I said, like I always say, when Bruno is firing, the team is firing, bro. Mm. So Bruno did his thing, and I all like that Bruno goal was spectacular sweet, goal, bro. bro. Spectacular, but Bruno is that guy, man. Like I mean, he not not as good as the other Van Passy one from like of 2014. Not, of not, of not. But but also it, it was quality, crazy angle. Yeah, yeah. Um, Evan standing to like, <laughs> he's standing to like in the year style. I Chavi, bro. won't even Chavi lie Evans, to you. Bro. I was oh. like, what's this? You get? And he had also scored a goal that was yeah. cancelled. Yeah. So I think Evans had a, so, a solid, solid game. Uh, I expect to see him in more more United squads as the season proceeds. Which is mad to me. How old is he? Like thirty four. He's a pretty old dude, bro. But yeah. the experience is working, man. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, bro. But I thought that was a good game. I think. Uh, I think we win as we proceed, bro. Like, mm. I expect that we'll get more wins as the season proceeds. I thought we were really good midweek. And yeah, bro. Honestly, I'm happy to see United win. Mm. It was a way, like. All I care, I care about is a win. You guys needed that. Needed that. Yeah. Onana, clean sheet. Um, I think he feels like he has a point this to prove. This was after the Champions League game, right? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he has. He feels like he has a point to prove. So he has gotten those two clean sheets in that week. So, uh, bro, I don't know. Um, positive, positive signs. Yeah. Positive Which signs team are you playing? Uh, okay, let's go to next week. I guess game week seven. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oops. Because I know we're playing Fulham, I believe, on Monday night. That's uh, well, as, as you find the fixtures. Okay, fixtures. Let's scroll through and see if there are any big games. I think that Aston Villa Brighton will be a really good game. Mm-hmm. That's the first game of the week. Yeah. Uh, early kickoff. Game. When is it? Villa early Brighton. Tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, 2.30. Two mm. Villa at home. Crazy. Brighton away. I don't know how Brighton have been doing away. I feel like they're still doing well, bro. Uh, yeah, I feel like they're still doing They've lost doing one well. game this season. One, yeah. one, one. Brighton is five. definitely still doing Still good. bowling. Yeah, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Um, let's see. I think the biggest game of the week will be Spurs-Liverpool, Spurs, Liverpool, bro. Saturday Spurs night. Spurs-Liverpool. Spurs-Liverpool. Spurs at home. <laughs> we'll be literally, bro. I will not be present. <laughs> we, we, none of us I'll will be, be present. I'll not be physically present, but I'll watch the highlights. <laughs> we have the extended highlights, like listen, 12 minutes. Listen. Anyway, I'm at my card TV now on my lap, bro. Mm. Um, same, same, same. Let's see, predictions. Spurs, oof. I don't know, bro. I also feel like it's going to be a high-scoring fixture. Okay. Um, But I'm giving it to Liverpool. So am I. I'm giving it to Liverpool. Like, 3-1, so 3-2, three, one, three, one of the two. Wow. But I think it's going to be very high-scoring. I think it will be. I don't think it will be three one. I th- I'd, I'd say maybe somewhere closer to two one, mm. considering the fact that Liverpool are away. But I think Liverpool are kind of coming back into, into like who they are. Bro. Yeah, but did you watch their Carabao game? Mm. They are crazy. They look bro. so good, bro. They're looking good. But even in the past few, I think people just took their eye off Liverpool. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. since the season began, they've actually been playing decent since the Chelsea game. Yeah, I, mean, I, feel, I feel like it was just the Chelsea game. Yeah. And ever since then, 
they've, they've been balling. Good, bro. Yeah, they've, they've been balling. Good. The only issue is I think Allison is still conceding. Mm. And I think in their best seasons, best previous seasons, they were really good because they weren't conceding. Yeah, I think that I, I think that stays, bro. Yeah. I, I don't think they're going to keep too many clean sheets this season. Don't think. Yeah, and it's not because their defense is horrible. I just think they have looked a bit leggy. Like Van Dijk looks a bit leggy. Um, and then also that... Um, is, isn't he... No, he has a red card. So he hasn't played... Van Dijk? No, he had a red card before. But he should be good now. Okay. But also the other guys like Mati, Gomez. I don't know, bro. You don't know? Premier League attacks now are crazy. You can't even say the top six teams have good attacks. Strangely it's with them. Okay, bro. not strangely, but... Since Trent has been out, they've been looking fairly more more solid in the back. I don't trust Trent, bro. That's the thing. Since he has been injured, yeah, fair. They've been fair. they've been <laughs> solid in the back, so they've Trent not been conceding as much. Trent is to me, again in my opinion, disclaimer. Trent offers the same problem Sterling does. How? Good player will give you what you want, but there's always that side of the game Where? that will be taken away from the team. Me, I'll tell you that the only the only downside to Trent is that he's a defender. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's I feel like it. that guy should just be put like on the that wing. That's it. That's the only downside <laughs> to him. Otherwise, like he's a world class player, but yeah, he's a defender. Very good player. Very good that's player. The only, that's yeah. the only zip. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that Liverpool's front line has started to like click. Mm. Now it seems like they have started to learn what positions they work in. Like yeah. obviously yeah. Salah is Salah still Salah. Salah bro. Um, but I'm seeing that Nunez has Nunez now found his feet. Gakpo has started Gakpo. to put some in. Diaz. You saw what Zobos like did in mm. midweek. Something crazy. That's not a goal of a guy who is not confident. That's not bro. a normal goal. That's bro. not a goal of a guy who doesn't know what is. And doing. again, Endo had like a goal and an assist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which is which is mad, bro. Listen, which is mad. Listen, shout out Liverpool. Let's see, let's see how they do. Mm. I'm going with Liverpool in that one, bro. Uh, let's see. Maybe we should bet on or we should make predictions for our teams. Mm-hmm. I know there's United, United Crystal Palace. Playing Palace again, again we beat them midweek, and I expect that we'll beat them again. Mm. Mm. The only threat with Palace, Palace is also one of those teams for us that it's very unpredictable. Palace and Wolves, they tend to give us trouble. Mm. I think the game against Palace midweek is probably the easiest I've seen us beat Palace yeah. in a very long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So I'm expecting a United win, but I don't think it will be easy. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be like the 3 nil. No, no, I think it might be another one of those kind of confusing games, but I like the the calm that the entrance of um, Amrabat seems to have brought to the midfield. Uh, yeah, it'll definitely look better with him. Definitely. It's crazy that it's still a loan to me, but you look better with him. Yeah, I think that we will... I think we'll, it'll be another win, maybe like a 2 nil. Mm. I'll say a 2 nil because I expect another on and a clean sheet we're at home. Um... We need to obviously bring back at United the fortress of Old Trafford. Mm. So That's I expect a, a, I expect a long two. way ahead. A long bro. way. Yeah. A long way. <laughs> well, I'll say I, I expect a two one. Two I, one. I feel like Unanda will concede. Mm. Um teams playing each other back to back is always unpredictable. Yeah, it's going to be like a two one or a four nil to yeah. United. Because literally you played yeah. the guys have had ninety minutes to like mm-hmm. figure out what how you guys play. Mm-hmm. I think the only difference will be that they will not they won't be dealing with Garnacho and Pelistri again. It will yeah. now be Rashford that they're dealing with. Yeah. Um, I think there'll be a, a few. There'll be Bruno will be back in the squad. He was in the squad midweek. Mm. So as always, we also have weapons. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Fair. They have more to worry about than we do. I'll say United win. I'm going to one. To one. To yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 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 I know Monday night we're playing Fulham. Yes, Chelsea. Uh, strangely, oh, this is a is this a double game week. No, it's not. It's yeah, not. I think the last game is just that Luton Burnley game that was postponed, mm. so it's on Tuesday. Mm. Um, yeah, Monday night you have Fulham and you are away. Away, and this is the thing. That's always a tricky game. In as much as it might look simple, mm. it's because Fulham and Chelsea. That's a London derby, bro. The stadiums are like five minutes away from each other. Okay, so it, it's always feisty. But I want to give it a Chelsea win uh, because of the bounce from Brighton. If Pochettino gets the team right, I mean, he's a coach, you can never know. But if he gets it right, I say we do much better, bro. I'm still going 1 0 because I don't think we're a high scoring team yet. Mm-hmm. But I still believe we're a good team. So I'm going 1 0 Chelsea. Um, I mean, the, 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 the catch is we have a Gusto red card. And in midweek, Nicholas Jackson injured his wrist. Damn. So 
It's a bit tricky, but Golding is not the goalkeeper. And he also has a what is it called? Yeah, you know, we have two goalkeepers. <laughs> <you like. Yeah. laughs> and I think he also can't play because he he he's on a yellow card suspension. Mm. He reached his like six yellow cards already. So as how bro, as a striker, oh. do you have six years? Yeah, of cards, like the new the new rules, those things of like complaining for a yellow card. Yeah, he, he, he has been a bit mind. wild with it. Mm. Oh yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. But like we we have Broja back, Armando Bro, who is a good striker to me, mm. very good striker. He look, he had a cameo midweek, like ten minutes, and he looked good. So I'm going one nil. I just hope it's not the same lineup we always use. If it is. Nil, nil, bro. Just hear it, hear it from me now. So, okay. yeah. I mean, your head-to-head is 32 games played, 2 wins, 11 draws, 19 wins for Chelsea. Mm. It, it, let me tell you, the Premier Two League, Fulham, bro. Th- that, that looks very... You should that see the crazy. cup competitions, though. Yeah. It, it's there always... Like, we win, but it's always a tough game to win. Bro. Yeah, I guess. Always a tough game to I win. I guess. So, yeah. You won nine, 9 of the last... Uh, or last Nine of the last nine away games, bro. But I don't know, man. Like, whenever yeah, we say these stats, that's when we lose. You, <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what happens. But I'm going for a one-nil Chelsea. That means that the two wins. Anyway. Mm. Anyway. I'm Let's going see. for a one-nil Chelsea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's calm. I think I'll go. I think this is one of those games that Chelsea's going to win. I think it'll be a fairly comfortable win. I haven't had too much from Fulham since that first game week. Yeah, and they lost. They, they lost Mitrovic, bro. They lost him. They yeah. lost. They Mitrovic. almost they lost Palinia. And Palinia has him. been kind of quiet. So I don't know. I think I'm going to go at Chelsea three nil. Um, it's crazy that you have more confidence than me, bro. Yeah, yeah <laughs> naturally, because I kind of like how the Chelsea team plays, and I think that they, I think they're waiting for like an opportunity to to play mm. well. Mm. You guys won midweek, which I think was also very helpful for you. Mm. And the fashion in which you won, it seemed like the guys were hungry for that win. They really like wanted it. Wasn't the guys wanted that It wasn't win. clean, yeah. but they wanted it. it. They win. wanted it. Yeah. So I don't know, I'm going to go at 3 0. I think that there's another big sterling performance on the mm. way. I think that. I don't know if I, I'm hesitant to say that we'll get a Mudrik goal, but I'm hoping we'll get a Mudrik goal. He's not yet there to me. Okay. Like we'll see. Very good player, very good potential. It's just. Again, wrong time. That I like Mudrik. I think cohesive that he, at all. I think he has started shooting more mm-hmm. from wherever. He's also creating more to be fair. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think he's he's trying harder. Mm. So I expect I that he'll start firing. Mudrik assist. Okay. Because of how we are playing right now. Okay. Like he's he's more creative than, I mean the role he's playing at least. He's more creative than finishing. Mm. So I'm going Mudrik assist, but I'll, I'll still go one nil. One nil. Okay. Yeah. I'll say this though. We better beat Fulham and Burnley, bro. Because the fixtures after. after. Those are your two <laughs> games to win. Mm. So after that, things are going to get nasty. Mm. We have like we seven a, a straight hard games, bro. Yeah. Okay, man. Uh, is there anything else you want to discuss before we close? Well, I mean, what else? Not, not much, to be fair. Nothing? Not much. Okay, man. I don't think I have to anything to discuss either. Uh, thank you guys for watching till this point. We are trying Sponsors. to keep these... <laughs> we'll try and keep this short and sweet, man. Uh, I get that it's like before the week, the match week begins, so it's hard to like watch something on that Saturday morning. Um, but yeah, we will catch you guys next week and enjoy the football. Peace. Peace.